All right, Marcus, you got something for us, right? Your five favorite players of 2023. What do you got for us, man? Yeah, so I, you know, I, I didn't want to be biased. I didn't, I didn't want to be biased. So there are no, there are no South Carolina players on this list. There is one Aces player on this list. Because I, I really just want to talk about like, the five players that I enjoyed watching the most this year. Um, this is a spoiler alert. Alert, sorry. Um, they are all WNBA players. Um, I committed myself to be extremely tapped into the WNBA this year um, because I, I just expected really great things from the WNBA this year. Um, if I had to redo this list, I would, you know, shout out an honor mention to, of course, Andrew Reese. I'd throw Caitlin Clark in there because they were both fantastic to watch in college. But these are all WNBA players. So I'm going to get my list from five to one. At number five, it is Shakira Austin of the Washington Mystics. She missed some time this year due to injury, but I was a big fan of Shakira Austin going to the Mystics last year when they when she was drafted. I thought it was a great fit. As I mentioned earlier, you'll want to find Atlanta Deladon's successor before it's too late. I think the Mystics have that in Shakira Austin. She's gritty. She's tough. She plays really hard ball. Um, as she continues to develop her offensive game, I think she's going to really be a force to be reckoned with. And plus, she has like, the best vet, she has Natasha Cloud, who did nothing this season and nothing last season, but just pour into her and just help her get comfortable and really lean into all the things that she's really, really good at. Next year, when she comes back, if she plays a fully healthy game, she is going to be a major X factor and a big reason why the Mystics could potentially make a run for the chip if, of course, they keep Natasha Cloud and Elena Don from going elsewhere in free agency. That was number five. Number four is my Aces player, and it is. Jackie Young. I loved watching Jackie Young play basketball this year. She was exceptional from opening tip of game one until the end of game five of the double or game four of the WBA finals. She was absolutely exceptional, had a career year. Everything was up. We talked about it on the show a lot. I talked about it on the page at one point, walking down the street to work. I said she could have been an MVP candidate. I said she could have won Founders MVP as well because that's how great she played in game one of the, of the WBA finals. But she was great. I loved her. She, she Jackie's Jackie's so special because she's so quiet. Like she she's she's definitely like that silent assassin type. Where like she 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 doesn't she doesn't talk much. She doesn't have like the big personality that like the Chelsea Grays and the Kelsey Plums and and the Asia Wilsons and other girls on the team has. But like she shows up, and there's so many times where she's the best player on the floor, and I just loved seeing that from her this year. So she was my fourth favorite player to watch. My third favorite player to watch is Arike Agumawale. There's really not much more I can really say. She's just special. She's always special. She was special in Notre Dame. She's been special for Dallas. Um, she was special in their playoff games. And Dallas has a lot of great things brewing. And I think they can definitely be competing for a championship in the years to come. But Arike Agumawale, she's just special. <laughs> I just enjoy watching her play basketball. Um, number two on my list of favorite players of 2023 was Ryan Howard, another very, very special player. Um, she was exceptional in her first playoff game, in her first playoff series, right? And Atlanta Dream are moving in the right direction. It's because of Ryan Howard. She's a big guard. She's she's a three-point specialist. She can hit any shot on the floor. She's very shifty. Like, you, you, you can't take your eyes off her for one second, and that's what I love about her. And number one, my favorite player to watch, 2023, is the unicorn, Satu Sabali. She was great. And that's what we were looking for, right? We were waiting to see Satu be who she was coming out of Oregon to be that, you know, good right-hand woman for Arige Gumbawale and really get the Dallas Wings to get one step closer to getting over the hump and potentially winning a WNBA championship. And she was all that this year. Set the record for most consecutive double-doubles to start a season. She had like 11 or 12, right? She was an MVP candidate for much of the season until she kind of tinkered off towards the end. And, of course, she didn't miss a couple games with injuries, so that didn't help her as well. She did end up winning most improved player, which was truly, truly, truly deserved for Satu Sabali. She was my favorite player to watch for 2023. She'll probably be my favorite player to watch next year as well because her game is just so special. Her game is so unique. It's so smooth. And... There's no time that you can look up at, at Satu Sabli and don't think that she won't deliver because she's been that, she's all that, and I love her. So Satu Sabli tops my list. Um, it's crazy to think that there's a non-Aces player at the top of my list. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel that way, but I I was pushing a heavy Satu agenda, agenda way, way, way before we 
way before we even got to protect our queens, I was pushing this decision to hard on Go Talk to Marcus when, when Martin and I were doing women's basketball shows twice a week or once every two weeks on my show over there. I, I, I bothered, I bugged Martin about Sao Tu Sao every chance I got. I watched two teams play every game of basketball this season. I watched my Aces play every game of basketball, and I watched the Wings play every game of basketball because I loved watching Sao Tu Sao play basketball. If, if, if Sao Tu Sao has no fans, I'm dead because I just, I, I, I am Sao Tu Sao biggest fan. I can't wait to see what she does in 2024. That's a great list, man. Yeah, love Satu at number one. Well deserved. Well, well deserved. Yeah, That's most improved player this year, correct? Most improved player this year, one hundred percent deserve to be the most improved player this year. By the way, speaking of the awards, with an exception of MVP, um, I would say they got them all right this year. From coach of the year to most improved to sixth player of the year, defensive yeah. player of the year. Obviously, like I, I think they got them all right, except for. Um, Except for MVP. 